Politicians joined police and fire unions today at the Elizabeth Fire Department to call on Congress to reauthorize the Zadroga Act. The 2011 law entitles 9-11 first responders to compensation and added health coverage if they've developed health problems directly from their exposure to dust and debris. The law expired this past September 30th. Our 9-11 responders stood in the line of fire they stood in the line of duty, they stood in the line of risk, and they should not have to stand in line waiting for the Congress to cast a vote for reauthorization, a permanent reauthorization of the Zadroga bill. James Zadroga was a New York police officer from North Arlington, New Jersey. He died in 2006, the first person to die of 9-11 related illness. Between four and 5,000 New Jerseyans get monitored and treated at a Rutgers clinic in Piscataway under the program. They responded. They stood strong. They put themselves in harm's way. And now a bunch of politicians in Washington are not standing up and doing the right thing by them. We should not have to be here. It is a shame upon our nation this is my World Trade Center health card. Gene Dannenfelser was diagnosed with lung cancer last year. He spent 13 days at Ground Zero and Fresh Kills Landfill. After having my left lung removed, they did a biopsy on my right lung, and I'm still walking around with ground glass in my light, right lung. Lathy Workus showed us a 9-11 memorial inside the firehouse. He led a team into New York City on 9-11 and now has esophageal problems. The condition I have, uh, if not treated and stayed on top of, turns to cancer. So if that money is not available for my constant monitoring and treatment, there's pretty much the same outlook for all of the responders that went there, which the outlook is not good. Federal funding for the clinics that treat 9-11 responders has come to a halt. The compensation fund expires next year. Please renew this the Drug Act. Renew it permanently. Not have a sunset not have an expiration date. This is something that needs to be funded today and well into the future. The politicians in attendance were all Democrats. You know, let's be honest, it's those damn Republicans. We need them to support us. We had a hearing on it. The speaker said last week that he wants to do this by the end of the year. He's a Republican. And finally, we had a meeting of the Republican members of the committee with the chairman of the committee last Thursday or Friday, and he said that he would support a permanent reauthorization. It's just a question now of figuring out what the pay for is going to be. To the people who rallied here today to reauthorize the Zadroga Act, the principle is simple. First responders didn't say no to us on 9-11. We shouldn't say no to them now. In Elizabeth, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.